Ready to know more about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Well, here's part two of what we're calling the ABCs of LDS. For some quick background, the LDS Church is a Christian religion with roughly 17 million members worldwide, and it's based in Salt Lake City, Utah. Its members, formerly called Mormons, make up the majority of Utah's population. In part one, we covered A through F, so now we're starting with G. G is for garments. When receiving endowments in the temple ceremonies, adult members enter into covenants and sacred promises with God. As part of entering into these covenants, members are given simple undergarments, often referred to as temple garments or just simply garments. Now, these undergarments are worn under clothes in members' day-to-day -day lives. These garments serve similar purposes as other religious clothing in other religious traditions, such as the modesty of the Muslim hijab or the remembrance of God in the Jewish talit. H is for Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. Often in the LDS Church, God is referred to as the Heavenly Father. He is considered the creator of all things, and people are his literal children. Members believe that God has an active and interested role in their lives, and by living a moral, righteous life, they can return to his presence in the next life. Now, unlike other Christian traditions, the LDS Church does not believe in the Trinity, where God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are three in one and one in three. Rather, the LDS Church teaches that they are three separate beings, and that God and Jesus Christ have their own separate physical bodies. I is for immersion, as in baptism by immersion. Like other Christian traditions, the LDS Church believes in baptism for the forgiveness of sins. However, baptism is only done by immersion, meaning the person being baptized must be fully submerged under water during the ceremony. Often the baptized is then confirmed in the church and they receive the blessing of the Holy Ghost, whom members believe help them in their lives. Now, unlike other Christian traditions, the LDS Church does not do infant baptisms. Rather, members must be at least eight years old to be baptized and confirmed. J is for Joseph Smith. You can't talk about the LDS Church without talking about its founder, Joseph Smith. Members believe that through God, Smith found an ancient text that he later translated into the Book, book of Mormon, which is, became the foundational scripture for the church. He was considered a prophet and was the first president of the church. Now, Smith isn't without his controversies, including his practice of polygamy. Smith and his brother Hiram were killed by an armed mob in 1844, and they are considered to be martyrs of their faith. K is for keys of the priesthood. In the LDS faith, the priesthood is the power and authority given by God to men. Now, because the priesthood is only given to men, groups of LDS men are often collectively referred to as the priesthood. The priesthood authorizes men to perform ordinances such as sacrament, baptism, confirmation, temple ceremonies, and other traditional blessings such as baby blessings and healing blessings. The priesthood is divided into two sections, the lower Aaronic priesthood and the higher Melchizedek priesthood. Now, the keys of the priesthood are in reference to the authority that the president slash prophet of the church has to govern all of those who belong in the church. L is for loving families. Now families are at the center of the LDS church. The church teaches that God has designated the family to be the basic unit of the church and of society. Through temple ceremonies, people believe that they can be with their families in the next life. In the past, the LDS church has taken strong stances on how they define a family. In its 1995, a The Family, A Proclamation to the World, the LDS church outlined that a marriage is defined as being between a man and a woman and that married couples have a responsibility to procreate and that only married couples should participate in procreation. The proclamation also outlines the roles of fathers as being the providers of the families and the mothers as the nurturers of their children. However, the church's website as of 2024 has softened this idea of traditional gender roles by citing Adam and Eve as being partners and saying, quote, likewise, fathers and mothers today are equal partners in the family. The church also lists various ways that families can be made up to include other li relatives living in the same house, single parent families, or a husband and wife without children. However, it still reiterates its anti-LGBTQ stance.